Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the jQuery basic series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to set up jQuery. Well first of all you want to go to a web browser then you want to open up jQuery.com you want to actually just download jQuery so you can just click on the download button here the version 1 and then the version 2. Generally use version 2 unless you have a specific need to use version 1. So you, there, there are a few different files you can download, compressed, uncompressed. We always use the um, uncompressed one. It says development uh, jQuery and this is production but the uncompressed is A-OK. -okay. I prefer uncompressed just because if I ever did need to go into it, it well, you can understand it because it's not compressed. So if I just right click, save link as. I was going to save it to my desktop for now. And then what I'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop called J called jQuery. In here I'm going to drag and drop the jQuery file. I'm going to create a new folder for JavaScript, so JS. Copy and paste that into there. I'm going to open up a text editor, Sublime Text. You can use an IDE if you want to. If you're on Windows, definitely recommend you have Notepad. This is cross platform, but Notepad is amazing. I'm just going to save this as a HTML document so I can get some IntelliSense going before I actually do any code. So I'm just going to call this index.html. And then here, just going to put. Um, dot type HTML oh, sorry, it's HTML dot type and then we're going to put the HTML tags I'm going to spell it correctly then inside here we're going to put the head tags Going to put body tags now. Okay, so within the head tag, we're just going to put script src equals js four slash jake. Let's have a look what that was named again. It was named. I'm literally just going to copy and paste the name from here jquery-2.1.1.js I'm just going to close it off script tag and what we're going to do is copy and paste this and in here in the new file is where we will basically be used putting all our jquery stuff so I'm going to put main for this I'm going to put main.js and now the next step is to actually create this main.js file. So let's open up a new file here. Save as. Go to JS. Save it as main.js. In here, to basically start a jQuery, uh, you do dollar, or you can put jQuery itself. I prefer dollar document dot ready. And then here we put function, open close bracket. And now we put open curly brace, enter, semicolon. And here it basically, it basically states once the document is ready, we can start putting stuff in here. We can put JavaScript code as well. So you can, if you just use this for the jQuery to just to get the document ready check. And then inside we can put JavaScript, jQuery, and uh, what have you. But yeah, that is literally it for this tutorial. We're not going to be doing anything else in this tutorial. In the following tutorials, we'll be actually implementing stuff. But let's just run it and make sure that there's no errors. Uh, let's open up index.html. Right click, inspect element. It looks like there is no errors. So that is good. In the head, we have the main.js, which is this file here, which is fantastic. Now, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The link for the email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.